Hey guys, this is Vance Logic, going back to Let's Play Tales of Symphonia, where everything's made up and the points don't matter, and we found a book! And it's the one that we actually need. In the last part, we went through the Tower of Mana, and we defeated the boss of the seal, and now Colette knows sacrifice the most useless angel skill in this game! And before I actually step my way out here and Colette gets inflicted with more angel toxicosis, let you guys know, uh, it's gonna be not pretty much nothing but talking for like the next two or so parts. A couple battles here and there, mainly required ones, but yeah, you guys will see what I mean, so uh, it's gonna be pretty quiet. Professor Sage, it's Colette's angel toxicosis. I see. Let's rest here for today. What's wrong, Colette? I would assume she's lost her voice. What? And trust me, don't underestimate it. This is a lot of talking. A lot. Everyone, I have something to say. Huh? I want to explain to everyone why I was trying to assassinate the Chosen. All right, we're listening. Tell us about your homeland. A land that doesn't exist in this world. You knew? No. But you said it yourself that Silveront will be saved. That must mean you aren't from Silveront. Yeah. You know, it's really a shame that your intellect's being wasted here. You're right. My homeland is not here. Not in Silveront. What does that mean? My world is called Tetheala. Tetheala? You mean the moon? <laughs> of course not. My world isn't on the moon. Even I really don't understand the specifics. But there's another world that lies entwined with Silverant. As shadow is to light. That's Tetheala. My world. Two entwined worlds? The two worlds lie directly adjacent to each other. They just can't see one another. Our scholars say they exist on shifted dimensions. Anyway, the two worlds can't see or touch each other, but they do in fact exist next to and affect each other. What do you mean, affect each other? They vie for the supply of mana. When one world weakens, the mana from that world flows to the other. As a result, one world is always flourishing, and the other waning. Sort of like an hourglass. Wait, so right now Silverond is... Yeah. Silverond's mana is flowing to Tepeala. Therefore, Silverond is in decline. Without mana, crops won't grow and magic becomes unusable. If there's no mana, the summoned spirits that protect the world alongside the goddess Martel can't survive in Silverond either. As a result, the world slips even further down the path of destruction. Then the Chosen's world regeneration is actually the process of reversing the mana flow? Exactly. When the Chosen breaks a seal, the mana flow reverses and the summoned spirit that governs the seal awakens. I was sent to prevent the world regeneration from happening. I broke through the supposedly impassable dimensional fissure for the sake of protecting Tetheala. In other words, to assure the decline and destruction of Silveront? You can say that, but your journey of regeneration is also an attempt to destroy Tetheala. We're both doing the same thing. It's hard for me to believe all of this. I'm the proof. I possess summoning arts that have been lost from this world. Please don't look at me like that, Colette. I know that wasn't your intention. I don't know what I should do either. I came here to protect Tetheala, but this world is impoverished and everyone is suffering. But if I allow the world regeneration to occur, then Tetheala will become just like this. But right now you're helping us, right? Yes, but that doesn't mean I can just abandon Tetheala. I, I don't know what to do. Isn't there any other way? A way for Silveront, Tetheala, and Colette to all be happy? I want to know, too. Have you considered that perhaps nothing that convenient exists in the real world? The best thing we can do right now is to save Silverant from its current crisis. What if we don't regenerate the world and just defeat the Desaiyans? 
Although we succeeded in destroying a ranch, we cannot possibly eliminate all the designs, and the mana will eventually be exhausted. Is mana really that important? I suppose only magic users and scholars worry about it. But mana is even more important to life than water. Without it, the land will die. Mana is the source material which composes everything. At least that's what I've been taught. Unfortunately, the giant tree of ever-flowing mana in fairy tales doesn't exist in the real world. We live by chipping away at the limited amount of available mana. Why do you think the ancient magi technology was lost? Because mana disappeared from the world. Correct. Magi technology consumes large amounts of mana. If things continue the way they are now, Silverant will eventually lose its mana, just as it lost its magi technology and be destroyed. Colette? R. E. M. I? Ah, you're trying to spell something, right? I'll try asking Remiel if there's a way to save the two worlds. If it doesn't work out, I may have to kill you after all. Sheena! When that time comes, I may fight back because I love Silverant too. I understand. You intend to become an angel no matter what, don't you? Oh my god, that took like almost eight minutes. You're probably wondering why I am not pointing out the whole story and such. Well, I don't even know anymore. Because I have listened to that god knows how many times already. And yeah, after a while it starts sounding redundant and it feels like they drag it on for a while, honestly. And it's gonna be like that for like, I, I want to assume the next 20 minutes worth of video, but I don't even know. Anyway, right now I'm here back in Luin because I'm going to be talking to this guy who could take, who is pretty much a instant take to Hema. There we go. Now we're at Hema, which where we have where we have to actually be. And he's just talking about all this stuff. I don't really care. Let's just go over here. We have to save Pietro. Yeah, you're right. We promised. We should be able to save him now. Let's go. If we have to, I suppose. I'm pretty sure we don't have much of a choice in it anyway, so let's just go up here, and let's go heal this bastard. Everyone, the healing technique. We found it. I'm gonna try it now, alright? Yes, please. And take no money for it. <laughs> At least that's what I want to interpret from that. God damn it, my greedy bastardliness. Where am I? He woke up, thank goodness. No, Sophia, then I reached Hima? Yes, Pietro, Sheena, she saved you. Yeah, something, 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 and yeah. Pretty much, it's nothing of importance. They're just, they're just going about thanking each other and such, and holy crap. And he has something that he wants to tell the Chosen, who is right here, and she's mute as fuck. Anyway, the signs are trying to revive something called the Angelus Project. They're also developing a weapon called the Mana Cannon. Man, can you mean Thor's hammer from the ancient war? I don't know the details. They're using things called x in these sinister experiments. Please, stop this Angelus project with the power of the Chosen and save us all. At last, we defeated Kavar and we rescued the people who were held captive. It's because of that jewel you had. And damn right it was. Concerned about the mana cannon, but we can't get anywhere pondering it here, and... We could probably use this technique to heal Clara, too. Alright, so everyone wins. I suppose. Alright, so, I'm actually going to do a bit of synthesizing because I actually know what I want, what I really, really want, so, yeah, no. Just grabbing that for Lloyd, and I'm pretty sure everyone else is good. I think I, I think I equipped something on, yeah, because I remember we had a root, I got the moon rope for her, but I forgot to equip it earlier. But I did a bit of off-screen training, if you guys see, I'm actually a higher level, and I got plenty of money. If you're probably wondering why I wanted all that money, because I need all this stuff. 
And yes, I do. And I really, really do. No, not that. Magic lens. Yeah, I'm gonna take this too. And as many life bottles as I can. Look at that. I wasted 10,000 gold just for that. Anyway, making sure I don't have anything else that I'm missing. Eh. Yeah. Alright, we're good. So all that's left is to figure out how to get to the Tower of Salvation. You can get a good view of the Tower of Salvation from the mountain in the back of this village. Let's take a look at the Tower of Salvation and think about what we're all going to do. Screw thinking, we need to act. And then I get hit in my ass with a car. Anyway, I've been ignoring that skit for God knows how long. <laughs> do goddesses get sick? I've had that for a while. Looking at it like this, it feels really close. But it's really, really far away. It's really very far away. It looks like there's no path leading to it. You there! Have you ever wanted to get a closer view of the Tower of Salvation? Gasp. What'd you say? Oh, I can see from that reaction you're interested. <laughs> can you really go to the Tower of Salvation? Then, welcome to Dragon Tours. My humble dragons and I shall show you the way to the Tower of Salvation. Dragon Tours? What kind of shady business is he running? But it would be, po but it would be possible to reach the Tower of Salvation from the air. Okay, we want to ride the dragons. Great, you have the honor of being the very first customers from the Dragon Tour. Let's see now, six people means three dragons, so here's a special prize available only today. It'll be 6,000 gold. <laughs> yeah, I love that gre greedy bastardliness. And yeah, it can't be helped if you want to get to the Tower of Salvation. It's for the world regeneration. What'd you say? Are you the Chosen's group? That's right. Oh my. No, no, no. This won't do it. Oh, I can't possibly take money from the Chosen. Please, put that money away. You haven't taken it out yet. <laughs> In that case, already three high-class dragons for you by tomorrow morning. Well, of course, I will not accept any money. However, what is it? I heard that the area around the Tower of Salvation is dangerous, so if you could just... I mean, my cute little dragons are... Not a problem. When we reach our destination, we'll return the dragons to you. Is that alright with everyone? I have no objections. Yeah, we'll figure out how to get back when the time comes. Well then, I'll show... Wait, y'all you here tomorrow morning, because he's got to make some preparations. Alright. We're finally down to the last seal. Let's split up for tonight. But don't go outside the village, understood? Yup. Got it. We'll be leaving in the morning. Good night, everyone. Sleep well. You want to thank me? Don't worry about it. Despite knowing what your future holds, this is all I can do for you. Anyway, now we can talk to everyone in the party. If you want to get everyone's affection up, go talk to everyone first. To go talk to everyone except Colette first. Tomorrow, Silverant will be saved. What are you going to do? Good question. Well, the only thing I can do is believe in the Chosen. The Chosen from this side seems to be trustworthy, you know? What's that mean? Is there a Chosen you can't trust? <sighs> Pepe Allah's Chosen. I can't stand that guy. I see. Tete Allah has a Chosen too. Two worlds, two Chosen. If there really is a goddess, why did she make a world like this? Yeah, no kidding. I want to kick her for doing this. <laughs> Seriously? I wish I could do that myself. We all wish we could do that because then this game would be much shorter and I could probably pretty much end it here. Your journey is finally coming to an end. This isn't the end I hoped for. Really? It's the journey you started by clinging to the Chosen. This was to be expected. Clinging to the Chosen? Don't you remember? It was you who said we have the Chosen on our side. The Savior who will regenerate the world. Yeah, that's right. I said that. And that's why I have to protect her. If relying and depending on the power of the Chosen at the most crucial time is what it means to protect her, then the meaning of the word protect must have changed significantly from my understanding. And now, the Chosen is trying to resolve everything by sacrificing herself. What are you trying to say? Lloyd, don't make a mistake. I don't quite get it, but I got it. That is the most redundant sentence ever. But hey, if I make a mistake, can't I just do it over again? <laughs> do it over. If it's something you can do over again, then... Feel free. Oh, I will because I had the option to reload my file. <laughs> Seriously, I always took that as like breaking the fourth wall every time I mentioned, can I just do it over? The Tower of Salvation is so close now. We've come quite a long way. Yeah, 
It's at a time like this that I stop and think how stupid I've been. Why? Because I don't even know if the way things have turned out is good or bad. Well, no one knows that. The ones who think they do are the stupid ones. You think so? Definitely. I guess you're right. You say some cool things every now and then. Thanks, Lloyd. I'll take that as a compliment. Go see Colette. This is her last night. Last night? It's her last night as a human. Professor, you're a scholar, right? Can't we do anything? Don't you understand yet? You're not too bright. Thank you for that. It's because I'm a scholar that I'm fascinated by Colette as she continues to transform into an angel. You can't be serious, Professor. You think so? Now go to her. Alright, fine, jeez. Well, aren't I going to see the others? I already saw them all, so shut up, that's alright. No, it's okay, let's talk for a bit. You can write. Then it's not talking. At least not her side of it, anyway. The world regeneration. It's almost time. I'm sorry? Why are you apologizing? This is the end, and yet I can't even speak. I know that's weird. You dork, that doesn't matter. No matter what happens to you, you're still you. Even if you become an angel, even if you become like marble, I won't ever think you're weird. Ever. Though on that latter option, we anyway, might have to kill you. I'm the one that has to apologize. Even though I promised I'd make you that gift before our journey ended, I kept thinking we still had a ways to go. I never even got close to finishing it. I'll wait forever. Even after I become an angel, I'll keep on waiting. You can give it to me anytime. Oh yeah! Okay, this time I'm really going to make it, no matter how long it takes. Can I ask you one last thing? Are you sure you won't regret this? Are you sure you want to become an angel? The truth is, I'm a little scared. Yeah, I would be too. But if giving up my life as a human means that Silverant will be reborn, then it's almost like my life is spreading out to fill the entire world. When I think about it like that, I'm okay. You're strong, Colette. <sighs> the wind's pretty cold. Let's go back to the inn. Ah, uh, sorry. That's right, you can't feel it. Damn it, Lloyd, you could have just left it at sorry, or you could not even have said anything at all. Now look at her. Yeah, she doesn't even want to talk to you. Damn it, isn't there anything we can do? Actually, she can't even talk at all. Ha ah, ah, ha ah, ah. ha ha. That was Kratos, wasn't it? Where's he going? You'll have to continue watching over Lloyd for me. <laughs> I have things I must do. In my place, I need you to... Kratos, look out! Ugh! Stop! Kratos, are you okay? Lloyd, thank you. Uh, I was nothing. But who was that? I would imagine it's that assassin. He managed to get away, but I gave him an injury he'll not soon forget. I have a feeling I've seen him somewhere before. Yes, perhaps. Let's get back to the inn. Everyone's probably up. Yeah. Lloyd. Hmm? What is it? Don't die. What? Yeah. Okay. What's up all of a sudden? Don't worry about it. How can he tell me not to worry after saying something like that?
What's this? There's some strange letters carved into it. It's finally time. We should hurry. Thank you. Can we just please let me control myself? Please. My voice is cracking because I have not fought in like half an hour. Too many minutes actually, to be more precise. Anyway, saving now. Let's go. Fully stocked up. Fully healed up. Sheena's in my party. And we all good in this. And I better stop talking like I'm winded. Anyway, no guarantee we'll return safe from the Tower of Salvation. Are you ready? And yep, this is pretty much a point of no return, guys. So, onward to ride these dragons to the Tower of Salvation. I've been waiting for you. Please board the dragons in pairs. I'll ride on the same dragon as the Chosen. Protecting her is my job. Lloyd, who are you going to ride with? Of course, it's China. Anyway, uh, getting so yeah. Whoever you choose, you get more affection points from them. It's almost time. Soon the world will be regenerated, and Tetheala will. Please trust Colette. I'm sure she'll ask Remyo how he, he we can save both worlds. Yes, Colette wouldn't abandon Tetheala. I'll trust her. Colette, you can do it. You can do it all night long. <laughs> 